Thank you guys for tuning in and watching the Buffalo Fanatics. If you guys like what you see and you like the videos and the content that we provide, click every link in this description or go to the IG page, go to the Facebook page, but most importantly, keep tuning in on YouTube. If you guys like the merch, www.bffanshop.com. And if most importantly, you want to join the Fanatic team, the Bing team, www.jointhefanatics.com. I'll see you then. It's your boy and I'm gone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new video. 72 hours after our playoff loss to the Houston Texans. Yes, people. Life does go on after a heart-wrenching, heartbreaking loss. It happens. We got to get over it. But we can't get over it without talking about it. And I think we did a lot of talking on Saturday night. <laughs> I know I did. My voice was hoarse. But it was therapeutic. I got everything I needed out. And I got to hear the voice of the Bills fans. The voice of the people. And it was great. But you tend to go over the game a little longer. A little more. You start to think of the things that happened in the game. Right? The lateral. The missed blocks. The dimes that he was dropping, the third down, first down plays that Josh Allen was making, the good and the bad. A lot of the bad outweighed the good. But nonetheless, we are where we are. We are where we are. Now, I want to touch on this game because a lot of times when the game is over and done with, you've spoken about it, you think you have it all out of your system, then you open up the laptop or you get the, the PVR, the DVR, whatever you guys have, and you replay the game and you watch it all over again. And I'll tell you right now, I thought I was mad during the game live. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I was furious watching this game. And I, and I got to keep it a buck here. I got to keep it a buck. Although we kept the game close, we kept the game close. And it's going to be it's going to sound weird that I say this. We just we left too many plays out on the field and you can't place blame on one individual. But there are glaring individuals that just dropped the ball literally for us. One of them was Duke Williams. Y'all know I love Duke Williams. A lot of people think I'm a you just want to, you know, praise Duke Williams. Just nah, man, you got to keep it a book. And Duke Williams catches that damn football. <laughs> we're not even we're not even talking like this, right? If John Brown tote taps, you know what I mean? Toe swag. Uh, you know when that toe drag swag? We're not even talking about this. Right? A lot of things happened in this game that could have put us up. And we're not even talking. But we are where we are because we dropped the ball. But one person that I've got to really look at. Really hard look. Is Josh Allen. I don the shirt because i still support my quarterback damn it i do but when you love someone sometimes you got to keep it real with you got to keep it real with them right i love my kids i love my kids man but when they mess up daddy's got to talk to you in this case you mean i gotta talk to my quarterback man we need better quarterback play from you and i know you know it we all know it right but you gotta remember one of 11 you can't do too much and i think in this game josh allen tried to do way too much right and it's okay because he's got he wants he's got the will to win when you see number four on the other sideline making plays super cool and doing what he's got to do for his team you know it irks him you know he wants to go out there and do what he's got to do certain plays we question right the lateral let's talk about it bonehead I, ta I talked about it. it was it's a bonehead move you got a minute left you don't turn the ball over like that however if he makes that play we're not talking about it right what a gutsy play he was thinking this is why the bills brought josh allen to the bills you know the drill that's what it would be right deep ball pass to pat demarco bonehead play why would you even go there right he was just a decoy it was just to create space, take away, take take someone with you so you can open up everybody else. And there was somebody open. However, 
if Pat DeMarco makes that catch, it's what a gutsy play from Josh Allen. What this is why they brought Pat DeMarco to the Bills because he does this. One of the best catching fullbacks in the game. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all get it. But we're not talking about those plays, right? We're talking about decision making. Josh Allen's decision making questionable. Very questionable this game. Let's go through a slew of the things that our quarterback put us through. Let's go through a few things that our quarterback had to make us watch. Right? Here we go. Number one, the lateral. I talked about it. But at the end of the day, not a good decision. Number two, the deep ball and double coverage to the fullback. I like where you're going with it. But know your personnel. And I'm sure of it. You didn't go through all your reads. Number four. We've had this issue. We've had this issue. The fumbling. Josh Allen tends to hold the ball like a loaf of pita bread. My man. This is the playoffs. It's the fourth quarter. We got to tuck the ball away. That fourth quarter turnover. Costly. Very costly. Taking some sacks. We talked about this, man. When you don't see what you like, get rid of the ball. But we tend to hold on to the ball, try to stiff arm, and try to make a play. Not only did we get intentional grounding, you backed us up out of field goal range. Those are the things that we can't do next year. We had Duke Williams coming across the middle. A higher ball, a catchable ball. Duke is probably running for that first down on that third and long. Pressure got to you. Ball in the dirt. We got to be better. We get into the red zone and we come away with four field goals. We have to put points on the board. We've got to. And I'm not talking about threes. We need sixes. Not to mention, we almost gave two interceptions away to Roby. Think about it. If Roby comes up with one tough game, two of them, decision making. Now, I say all of these things because those were the bad things that happened in this game. But guess what? There was never any fight lost with Allen. Never. That is the hope that we love. That is what you give Buffalo fans. That when we're down, you can never count us out because we got a quarterback that's still got that fire. That's still going to try to get us the dub. What did our defense do? Hold them to four. What does Allen do? Drive us. Gets us in position. We tie the game. Problem is, too little, too late. Now. It is not all doom and gloom. Now that the season is over, we've got a lot of things to look forward to and a lot of things to be excited about. And I'll tell you right now, I got four things that we should be excited about, extremely excited about. Number one, Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott, two pillars on this team. We can't be more thrilled than to have these two guys. One guy getting the groceries that's got the mind frame to build this team. And he's done a tremendous job in the little time he's been in Buffalo. He's turned this whole team around into a contending team. What do you do now? You pass it on to the head coach that brings the culture. A winning culture. A gritty culture. And that's exactly what we need coming to Buffalo. Those two men are going to take us very far. I see a championship not too far down the road. I'm dead ass. We have the nucleus to really propel us to be a very tough and gritty contending team for a very long time. I'm getting phone calls, text messages, tweets, you name it, of other teams telling me, yo, you guys are close, man. I'm watching you guys, man. I never really paid attention to the Bills, but I see some good things coming your way. Y'all got it. I agree. Number two, cap space. Oh, yes. We got to talk about the cap space. We've got about $90 million in the bank. That's a lot of money. We've got players to resign. We've got players to go get. And we've got to take care of our own. So this 90 million in the bank definitely helps us maintain the competitive nature that we have and then strengthen us in the places that we need them. D-line, O-line, receiver, running back, you name it, we got the money, we can do it. And we have a smart GM that's not just going to give money away. He's going to be very, very involved on what you get how it's worked out, and how it's going to benefit the Bills. Furthermore, we've got nine picks. Nine picks. Not only do we have the money, we got the picks, and we pick at number 22. 
We picked Tredavious White at 27. Think about the value that we can get in the 20s, the low 20s at that. So I'm very intrigued and I'm very encouraged as to what we can do going forward this offseason and how we build this team. It's still Buffalo versus everybody. Don't you forget that. Number three, Josh Allen and the rookie bunch. Can I call him that? I guess I am. Think about it. We've been playing playoff caliber football since Dallas Cowboys. So the Dallas Cowboys, the Steelers, the Patriots, the Baltimore Ravens. Think about it. We've had to prove and show that we can compete with the best of them. We didn't win them all, but we sure as hell competed to show that we belong on the field with these top tier teams. Furthermore, we make it to the playoffs. You don't think they got all the experience they needed in that one game that took it right down to the wire? Think about it. Josh Allen, Ed Oliver, Cody Ford, Duke Williams. There's a lot of young guys, young nucleus guys, Devin Singletary, that got a lot of experience. They saw the speed of the game. They saw the intensity of the playoffs. Oh, they learned something. And I guarantee you right now, they will be ready to go back to the playoffs. When you get a taste, you want to go back. We got that taste back in 2017. Don't you remember that? And when we didn't make the playoffs last year, cool, we understood it. We understood it. Rookie quarterback, we got him in the second year. Oh, he got a taste. He got all off season, All the way through. Played all games. You don't think that we're ready for next year? You don't think that we're going to be hungry? Oh, you best believe that we will be ready and we will be hungry to make sure that we take care of business going forward. Oh, you best believe it. Josh Allen and the rookie bunch, they will be ready. Last but not least, hunger for more. We have the hunger for more. We got the taste of what it's like to be in the playoffs. That's number one. We got to prepare for the playoffs. Every one of these things is going to feast on these players. And not only that, the most important thing, which really sucks, but the most important thing in this is we lost. A lot of times these losses can turn into lessons. Believe me when I tell you this, we're going for the division. We will get our bye week and we will make sure that we handle business the way it's supposed to. We got the experience and now it's the hunger. And when you're hungry for something, oh, look out. Do not get in the way of my food. That's the Buffalo Bills. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fantastic season. We learned a lot about this team. We learned a lot about our quarterback. We learned a lot about this coaching staff. We learned a lot about the Buffalo community, the fan base. This has been a fantastic year. There's a lot of things to be encouraged about. There's a lot of things to be happy about. Now we're going to the offseason. It's time. It is time. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in. Comment in the comment section. What do we need to do to improve this team? What do we need to do to get better? Where do we get better? What do we do in the draft? Who should we target in free agency? Where should we target? Do we need a cornerback? Do we need a linebacker? Do we need a defensive lineman? Do we need pass Russ Edge? Who are we letting go? Who are we releasing? There's a whole lot of questions. Tune in. Let me know in the comment section. I'll be reading them all. I'll be engaged with you guys. You guys already know what it is. So until next time, keep tuning in to Buffalo Fanatics. It's your boy Rico, and I'm gone.